you record the audio version of the book? Yes, yes. they've asked me to do that. It's in the contract. I'm sure a lot of people want to hear that. I will do that. You know what? I, that's that's going to be that's going to be interesting, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. I'm not sure I really thought that through, but <laughs> I don't. Would, I know that I wouldn't be able to bear it if I was Someone to hear else something. No. Yeah. <laughs> so this, at least, I can. Right. I know is my own. Right. Yeah. So, do you have any other audio books coming out? Anything in No, those? well, you know, I just, those two, last two were great big yeah. winners. Um, Nosferatu and uh, the, Sun the Sun by Philip Meyer. Mm -hmm. And uh, Armistead Moth and I did. Right, yes. Uh, Anna Madrigal. No, there hasn't been any time. Yeah, I know. You're I have busy. to tell you, between the book, that's the other thing you should know. I find it all consuming, whether I'm actually sitting at the computer or not. It, my mind is turning all the time. Mm -hmm. It's a different level of tiredness, too. It's very, very, to be constantly provoking the, the past, stimulating memory, mm -hmm. is, and it's emotional memory. You know, let's just take the, take the chapter on my sister Tessie, mm -hmm. which bled into two other chapters. That really cost me, because there was no way I was just going to write this out blithely, the story of my beloved sister who died. I told the story. Right. And uh, that was tough. It was tough. But good, I hope.